Honda sent me their newest electric dirt bike. It's this bike right here, the Honda CRF E2. And it's the first production model electric dirt bike that Honda's offering. Well, it's kind of a Honda. I'll start by explaining that part. Honda partnered with Gringer Power Sports to develop this bike. Gringer is a brand that has been in the electric industry for quite a while, and American Honda leaned on their expertise to create an electric dirt bike that was worthy of being a Honda licensed product. The Honda CRF E2 has a peak power output of 2.5 kilowatts and features a swappable 48 volt 960 watt hour battery. You can swap the battery by undoing the seat, releasing the battery support, and removing the battery. The whole process takes a couple of minutes. It's got an adjustable seat height that fluctuates between 24.8 and 25.5 inches. The bike weighs 106 pounds and it has a load rating of 99 pounds. It's got a telescopic fork with 3.9 inches of travel and a DNM rear shock with adjustable preload and rebound and 3.8 inches of travel. It's got 12 inch front and rear wheels mounted with Kenda Millville tires. The current MSRP is $2,950 and the bike can be found on the ECR marketplace where we've compiled listings for the dealers that we know and trust. So clearly I am not the correct size for this Honda CRF E2. This is an electric dirt bike that was designed for children. But before I start asking for the appropriate size candidates to help me test this bike, I'm still going to ride it around and we'll see what the Honda CRF E2 feels like with an adult on board. All right, Honda CRF E2. Let's go for a ride here. To start this thing up, you've got a key up front. Just got to flip that and you'll see this nice little display power up. So there's a menu button up top here and a plus and a minus down here. So if you want to change the power levels, you hold this menu button down. You can see that flashing, that's two. So you would click down and now we're in one. We'll start out in one. So once you've got your power mode set, you can flip this engine start button on and you should be live. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's mode one on a kid's bike. What you'd expect, pretty subdued for all 165 pounds that I am. We're hitting a max top speed of 10 miles per hour. And it's pretty mellow. So this is a great time to point out that it is just plain hard to test kids electric bikes because I'm not a kid but to get a kid to speak clearly about what they're feeling about a bike that's also a challenge and hopefully I'll give you some good insight because more likely than not you are the parent of the child that's probably watching this video uh, trying to find out if this is the right bike to buy your kids so you can hear it from me I'm also a father I can uh, talk you through this a little bit from more of an adult perspective, but uh, yeah, anyways, this is probably a good time now to switch it out of mode one. I think we were in that for too long. We'll hold down the menu button, let that flash, click it up to two, hit the start button again, hit the menu button first, and then the start button. Whoa, okay. <laughs> All right. It's got some kick, not gonna lie. That's pretty touchy off the crack of the throttle there. So now we're going about 20 miles an hour. Well, let's uh, slow down, get that off the line jump again. That had quite a strong hit. Not bad. Potentially too touchy, I mean, I can't imagine if I were under 100 pounds. That's like real, real abrupt power hit there. Might be a little too hot right off the crack of the throttle, my opinion. So there's a, definitely a surge 
off the crack of the throttle that I'm noticing. And I'm noticing it as a 165 pound adult, so I can't imagine what the youngsters would feel with that. It's not uncontrollable, but it's a little abrupt. And, um, yeah, I mean, it feels like good power once it's up and going. Like, it feels pretty mellow and it rolls on nice and smooth and easy. But yeah, pretty abrupt off the crack there. Also noticing too, this motor has that effect where it continues to pull slightly after you lay off the throttle. So something to anticipate there. Um, yeah, the responsiveness is a little delayed. I'm not gonna talk to battery life on this bike because I weigh way more than what they're intending to get out of range and that has a huge effect on range. So I, I'm just gonna go off the, the claims that Honda has put out for this bike and uh, hopefully we'll do some real world testing here with a kid who's the appropriate age for this bike. Speaking of claims, Honda Gringer claims a runtime of two hours in ideal conditions with a full charge. And a full charge up to 100% will take you four hours with the standard charger and 2.5 hours with their quick charger. All in all, it's pulling me around pretty good. I don't know why. Probably a good time to point out the positioning of the CRF E2 as I flip around here. It's a red Honda. It's got the CRF name and logo. It looks fast and exciting, but that's not the position of this bike. This is supposed to fall more into the trail category for Honda. So this is a bike that you're gonna put the kids on backyard, camp area, kind of low key environments. This is not a race bike. This isn't really supposed to be competing with like say the KTM Husqvarna Gas Gas Electric 50. It's a, definitely a different category, even though it kind of looks the part. This is a bike that is more for the family. So it's oriented around family riding, play riding, and just kind of all around fun. So, I mean, the bike feels like it would do that really well in that category. It's pretty easy to ride. Aside from that kind of whip of the throttle surge of power, it's pretty mellow and manageable and probably something that your kids would have a lot of fun on. And when talking about the throttle too, you know, I feel like all this stuff, like I remember when I was a really young kid learning how to ride, nothing's perfect. You kind of learn to adapt to these things as a kid. It doesn't really bother you. Like I'm, I'm sure a seven year old or eight year old is not going to be like criticizing the throttle response on this bike. They're just going to be happy to ride the bike in general. And uh, yeah, I mean, when you think about it that way, like, yeah, it's kind of a great bike for that. It, it seems like a great option to get your young kids on dirt bikes. It's not very intimidating. It's pretty easy to ride. It's cool looking. And uh, you've got your swappable batteries down here, which is awesome if you want to buy another battery, albeit they're pretty expensive. I will say, I think they're around a thousand dollars. So pretty big investment there, but uh, yeah, I mean, this is a cool little bike. It's it's a nice offering. It feels like, you know, it might not be exactly the Honda spec that you would expect off of a true Honda product, but it's clearly close enough. Uh, I think it's a, a great little bike. And would I put my kid on it when she's old enough? Heck yeah, I would.